Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. It's quite early in the morning on a Sunday. I'm a bit tired. It's neither here nor there. We have a few milestones we're going to go over uh, for the channel here. We hit 270 subscribers. And uh, 20 thousand and one views when I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning there's the uh, picture coming up there Woohoo! that's pretty cool and then uh, we're gonna go over a bunch of equipment I bought over the past few months and talk about it all tell you what's good what's bad but first well, we're still in the intro. We're going to get this over with right now. I still got the damn Mint Mobile card here, folks. I know it's difficult to read the description below, but everything I talk about will be detailed in the description below. It's pretty simple. You want to win this? You don't even have to be a subscriber. I will mail it to you. All you have to do is leave feedback. You know what that is. You actually have to type. You know, and use this thing between your ears and say, I want the Mint Mobile Card. That's it. And the city in the state you live in and i'll check and if you have t-mobile in your area it means the mint mobile will work with it same bands i'll send it to you it's three months of free service with uh, three gig a month of data it's probably not something you'd want unless you just want a spare phone number you know for your mistress or whatever uh or more to the point you probably would want it if you're giving a phone to your grandmother grandpa whatever you know like a smartphone please get this out of my damn briefcase i don't want it anymore otherwise i'm going to just pick somebody that i know is in a mint mobile area and i'm gonna ask them for their address and mail it to them that's all so let's get right over and do the intro or and uh we'll move on from there okay let's do it Hmm. So we're going to go over a few things real quick here. I'm just going to point out I'm using the Busy Woo, Busy Woo uh, desktop mic to record this portion through the PC on OBS Studio. Woohoo! Uh, 270 subscribers, folks. That's not bad for a year and a little under two months. I don't think. I, yeah, it's pretty cool. And as I mentioned earlier, 20,001 total views. Nothing spectacular. I mean, if you're like Lou over at Unbox Therapy or laughing hysterically because he gets that, I'll get a notification and go to view his video. He's already got that many views. Now, here's some surprises, though, on the site. The ones that get the most hits. Unboxing the P20 knockoff phone. This is an utter piece of crap, folks. Totally garbage. But apparently popular to watch. Uh, and then the Huawei Mate 20 Pro green screen issues, which was basically a public service announcement. I couldn't tell you I didn't own one of these. Don't have one. 
Not my budget. And then the open shot testing to reduce file size. Uh, 941 views. Yet, over here, if you look, uh, yeah, I use a program called Handbrake before I upload a file. I did three videos on this. None of them got more than about 99 views. That's it. And if you read the description below, which you probably won't, but you should. All the way down there, somewhere it'll say, this file was reduced from this size, which is the final size after I've edited it and got it ready to go. And I put it in handbrake and I let it go. And I convert it all to H265 at 720 because we shoot everything at 720 mostly because we're limited by the front camera on the mobile G3. So, that's just how it is. Uh, but, it's weird. Uh, of course, the uh, MPOW uh, H7 video didn't surprise me at all. They're really, it's still a good headset. I'm going to talk about it a little in the last segment. And the Zotac. And by the way, uh, I am still going to be editing this on the Zotac. CI-323, you know, it's one of those Celeron chips that the high-end reviewers go, oh, you can't edit video on that bull shit. Obviously, I can. I've been doing it for over a year. So, all that being said, let's get to the last segment where I show you all the equipment I bought in the last year. And, uh, give you my pluses and minuses on what I have lying about here in big piles of crud. Do that now. Alright, folks, we're going to kind of move through uh, all the products I've acquired in the last year. In one way or another. Obviously, I can't show you the mobile G3 because we're filming on it, but there's a box. Uh, and this was, of course, sent over by Andrew over at uh, AMD Tech. And uh, I can not continue to thank him enough for supporting the channel. And then let's get down to the good stuff, the other good stuff. All right, let's just start out with... I don't know. We'll just pick them as we go. Now, I bought these on my own. Didn't get sent to me. These are the MPOW H7 headphones. They're fantastic, folks. They're definitely worth every penny. They'll be listed in the description below, as will the Mobile G3 and everything else I talk about. So, no excuses from y'all. Just, uh, that's the way it is. Don't want to hear about it. I'm set that way over there. Now, we got us a couple of microphones here. Desktop mics. This is the new hoodie. Not a bad mic. At least it has a uh, 3.5 millimeter head jack, headphone jack, so I can plug it into my splitter and use it with the phone. The one next to it, right over here with the little LED on, goes into the PC because uh, it's a USB mic. Uh, so, that's that on those. Both great. All the links are in the description below. 
this is the uh, Bezi Wu mic, also known, I did a video, uh, it, it's sold under the brand name SGYD on Amazon, a very good mic, considerably a little bit better than the new Hootie, I would recommend this one over that, unfortunately, if you're going to plug it into a phone, hmm, different deal, you're going to plug it into a PC, well, we did the screenshot portion of this using this guy here. So, and that leads us to my one horrible purchase, which I'm not going to link. It was a bad idea on my part. This is a uh, USB to 3.5 millimeter jack. I thought... Well, I'll just plug that in and then plug it into my splitter and I can use this mic with my phone. Wrong. This mic requires power, folks, and a cell phone just ain't going to hack it. You get a whopping nothing out. Nothing. Okay, and then we're down to a couple of lavalier mics here. This is the Pop Voice. Uh, we're actually using that today. Uh, it's a really good mic. Comes in with a couple of spare foam things. They end up with three of them. And then over here we have the Paladu mic, which is an even better mic for a little bit more money, but there is a discount code for this. There's also a discount code for the uh, BZW, the SGYD. They're in the description below. Read it. Learn stuff. So that takes care of all the mics, and uh, now let's swing over here, get this mic out of my way, and we have the U400 hub that I bought off of Amazon. It's great. I use it to hook my phone up, I can charge through it. Only one item at a time. Oh, and I'm going to get back to that whole charging thing. And then back here we have the Zotac CI323. Oh my, yeah. And you can see the gooseneck mount. They're kind of in the way. Now, back here we have the Oons Angle 3. This is an utterly fantastic little... A Bluetooth speaker. I had to charge it up uh, yesterday. It took almost four hours. But I used it for like two or three days solid. It turns off after like 20 minutes of non-use, which is cool. On the other hand, I use the exact same charger, and that's at one amp. It can actually be charged quicker, but I just keep charging it. Through that hub I just pointed out, the uh, MPOWs here can be charged up, and I'll, I'll use them for like a day and a half, uh, listen to some music, maybe make a messenger call on them. That's about all I ever use them for. They are fantastic headphones still, but it, it our at the most, maybe an hour and a half, to recharge them. Now, I've never really run them down except once, where they unceremoniously say, power, uh, powering off. So that's all I got for today. So if you like this video, found it informative, enlightening, click on the subscribe button, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. At least give us 
both thumbs up or down, your choice. And also, uh, make sure you uh, share this video everywhere, please. And I'll link a couple of recent videos in the corners up there and up there. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. The rant will uh, probably occur Tuesday when all the idiots who get the free uh, one plus seven extol the virtues of said machine without telling you a whole lot of anything the day before the release and fail to mention the Pixel 3a which is a fantastic phone that'll be one of the videos I link at the end here thanks for watching